Flyers TV is sponsored by the Bay Hotel. Yeah, it was huge for us. Um, we knew it was a big one coming in uh, today, and uh, we were thrilled to, to get the win and, and uh, play a good team game all through. I mean, like I said, that was a huge one for us in terms of uh, hopefully locking up the conference, but um, need a couple of things to help help us out there. But uh, it was huge for us, and uh, we're looking to move forward here. I mean, coming to a place like Manchester, that's been a, a big rival this season. Are you surprised with the margin of the scoreline eight two? I don't know. Yeah, I mean. I think any time, any any team in the league, you'd be surprised with an eight-one or whatever it was, nine-one. I don't know, um, but I think we're playing well right now, and uh, everyone's starting to click. All three lines, you know, all the deer playing well, and Brownie's making some huge saves. Um, yeah, we just, uh, I mean, I think pucks were going our way a little bit. I think we were also making a lot of luck um, and making some real small, strong plays that, that led to a lot of good goals for us. Um, yourself, you got you got two goals tonight. What's your memories of your your goals? Um, first one, uh, just uh, kind of got a uh, lucky poke off the guy and then um, got a nice bounce. Second one, uh, just uh, I, I think tonight we did a good job in the neutral zone in terms of turning pucks over and transitioning well. So um, I just remember picking the puck up and uh, coming in off the wall, trying to get a shot off, and then was fortunate enough to get a stick on it. And uh, two. Two goals tonight by TJ Keg, two really crucial uh, crucial moments to make it 1-0. And then once they kind of got a goal back to make it 2-1, TJ Keg made it made it 3-1 to 5 straight after. Yeah, uh, Kegger saved my bacon there after I gave up that goal. Um, that was a huge response by uh, that line and especially Kegger by putting in that second one. So uh, I owe him a pint or two here. But uh, it was good. Um, I mean, he had an absolute rocket on that first one. Um, but everyone's playing well. I mean, all three lines contributed, so that was good to see. It was 5-1 after that second period. I mean, 5-2 took the foot off the gas a little bit, but they kept going and, and got three more goals. Yeah, um, you know, I think that was stressed. Obviously, that was a, that was a big, important part uh, going into the third was in between the, in the periods in the dressing room was to just stay, keep our foot on the gas and, and not let them back in. I think they're a team that they get one, they get a little momentum, especially in this rink. Things can happen quick with a small ice, so we just wanted to limit their chances and, and, and keep on putting something in against them. And where would you rank tonight's result against other results that Fife have had this season? Uh, I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, I think it's up there. But I think every game from here on out, every game is, we've been getting better and better. So I think that's important. Um, I don't know if we really rank any games per se, but uh, you know, this is obviously a big one for us with locking up playoffs, and uh, we're going to keep moving forward. Looking to last night um, playing Sheffield Steelers, what was your, your take on that game, a 5-2 defeat? Uh, I don't know if it was a 5-2 game. Um, they maybe gave them some easy ones, but at the same time, uh, they were flying. Um, we had some chances early, I thought. Uh, you know, 5-2, I don't know if that was, like I said, but, you know, it's behind us now. We got this win, and uh, we're moving forward. I'm just about taking the momentum now from the team performances recently. The result tonight into Sunday at home to Nottingham Panthers. Yeah, it's a huge one. Uh, obviously, I think two games left at home. So uh, we want to keep playing strong at home. Uh, we feel real confident there, especially when, when anyone comes into our building. So if we can keep that rolling at home, uh, with all the support we've been getting, support here, support Sheffield, and obviously when we're at home, it's unbelievable. So uh, you know, have a good week of training, and get a good win this weekend, hopefully, and then just keep rolling. What, what did, just on that, that subject, what did you make of the, the traveling support that came here tonight and last night? Yeah, it was awesome. Um, I didn't know, it, I know Sheffield was going to have a lot of people. Uh, I was hearing like 7,000 and then uh, at the at National Anthem, it was pretty cool to hear the, the Flyers chant going early. Uh, gives you goosebumps, so that was fun. And uh, obviously here in warm-ups, they were going crazy. Uh, it was awesome. It means a lot to us. Oh, just, just final one, just your, your teammate Ryan Dingle became became a father, I think, sometime this morning. Just any words on that? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, I I was telling some of the guys today, I don't know what I would do when I, when I go down that road. But, uh, yeah, congratulations to him and Sophie. Um, I think everyone's doing well, so uh, it's awesome. Um, uh, like I said, I, I'm at a complete loss of words with what's going to happen uh, when I'm when I'm there. But uh, he's, he's handled it really well. and. Uh, I'm glad they're both uh, doing well, and, and the baby, I think it's Everett, is doing well. So uh, that's awesome. Congratulations to them. Cheers, Paddy Yeah, thank you very much.